All right, man, it's Catch Pad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Look, man, today we're going to be getting into this Fox News. Trump has got immunity, partial immunity um, from uh, the Supreme Court. This is a big deal, and I'm going to speak on why it is. And uh, we're going to talk about it. So let's go, man. All right, man, listen, man, make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you want us to react to your music, cue cards is on the screen. If you want to donate, that's on the screen as well. We still in here, man. Hey, man, you're going to see a lot of us. We all over the place. Sketch pad, torture talk, you know, bars, wrestling media, combat combo. You know what it is. And um, sketch pad reactions. So look, man, let's get right into the clip and we're going to come back and discuss. It's consequential. It's really interesting that the Supreme Court in 248 years of our history has never actually ruled on this. So it is big and sweeping. And I have our political panel looking over this right now. Andy McCarthy, uh, Chief Justice John Roberts has the writing on this. He's got the pen. Is that significant? It's very significant. Uh, This is the most important case of the term in terms of the long term interests of the executive branch in terms of the long, the short term interests of Tr- Donald Trump. And it looks like at least within the bounds of clear executive authority, what Chief Justice Roberts is saying is that the president clearly has immunity from prosecution. Mm. So the question is going to be again, I, and I, I think Trey underscored this before is what is an official act? There's going to be a lot of litigation about that and what's close to the core of clear executive constitutional authority versus the outer ambit of it. Brett? Do we have uh, Shannon? Is she she um, going through the paperwork? Shannon, you there? Yes. Yes, I am here, if you can hear me. Um, let me read you a little bit of what we have from the court. Um, it does find this. Under our constitutional structure of separated powers, the nature of presidential power entitles a former president to absolute immunity for from criminal prosecution for actions within his conclusive and preclusive constitutional authority. He is entitled to at least presumptive immunity from prosecution for all his official acts. There is no immunity for unofficial acts. That's the first blush we've got on this. It is. It looks like a six to three split. We've got the dissent by Justice Sotomayor, Kagan, and Jackson join that. There is a kind of split decision on some of these. Somebody joins in one part, not in another part, but that's the overall holding of the court. So what it means now, we'll have to dig in the, into this and see if they tell us now, how do you decide an official act versus an unofficial act? Because that's going to be critical, having now said the president does have an absolute immunity from criminal prosecution for actions with within his conclusive and preclusive constitutional authority. We'll dig in, see how they define those official acts and look for a little bit more from you from the opinion. But at first blush, this looks like it is going to be a win for the argument for presidential immunity when it comes to allegations of criminal activity. What's interesting. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna stop it right there and we can just discuss now because it just going to talk about some stuff. So look, what does this mean for Trump? It means that anything he does as the president of, of under any constitutional order or anything that has anything to do with him taking action or doing anything that is constitutionally based, he has immunity. So when you see the people saying, well, he, he can kill somebody. He can shoot somebody and get away with it. That's not in the constitution. So he can't do that. That's not, uh, uh, anything that he, he could do. You know what I'm saying? And if that's the case, then there's a lot of presidents that's going to go to prison because they did some nefarious things as presidents. So what people got to stop doing is they got to stop believing that one thing doesn't lead to something else. 
So for example, this means that if this president, if this is if this declares Donald Trump having immunity, that means Joe Biden has immunity. That means any Democratic president has immunity. That's what people got to stop. They got to mm-hmm. stop this because they don't get their way that everything has to burn now. And you ultimately burn yourself at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times you get these, these, uh, uh, what they call it? These, um, these different politicians, they push this narrative that Trump is going to be a dictator now. He's going to be a king now. And he's going to be this, uh, guy who takes over because he can't be wrong now. There's nothing he can do. But this been in place before Trump was even in office. The Presidential Immunity Act has been in place for years. It has nothing to do with Trump. He just was smart enough to use it. This is what cracks me up with all of these different politicians. They just being they just lying to you, to your face. And y'all just straight believe anything they say. This just didn't happen. They, he went, they went to the, they went to the Supreme Court. So this way he can say that, look, it says that I have immunity and the Supreme Court decide that he did because it does say that it's not like, oh, man, this guy made it up. No. That applies for all other presidents, too. That goes for Obama. That goes for for Biden, uh, 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 Bill Clinton, any other anybody else you can think of that goes for all of them. So this notion and this stupid argument that people were saying that he's going to be a king, he's going to be, how can, how can Trump be the king of America? How, what is he going to do? (laughs) You think people are going to go along with this? He has, there's, there's so many different branches of government. How can he, how is he going to say? And another thing too, what really pissed me off. Y'all always saying Trump is so dumb. He's so stupid. He's so dumb. Okay, so if he's so dumb and stupid, then how come he keep winning everything? Why does he keep winning? I don't understand. How can you be this stupid, but still win everything and still beat everybody? I don't get the whole dumb argument. He's so dumb. How? How he keeps outsmarting all of these people? These people have been in politics for 40, 50 years. He's been in politics for no more than five years, and he's outsmarting all of them. How 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 can you be that? How can you say that this man is stupid? I mean, I would argue he's an evil genius. Some people would say he's he's an angel genius. I would argue he's an evil genius hmm. because he knows what he's doing and he plays dumb. One of my friends earlier said to me, "Trump is the luckiest man in politics." And I said, there's no luck in politics. It's either you are or you ain't. That's how it goes. You can't be lucky. How are you lucky? You put things into place for it to happen. You selected the right people. Oh, it's not him. It's someone else that is doing all the work for him. Well, then who had to pick that guy? He had to vet the guy, right? Again, this whole thing of him being a dictator and him being a a, a king. How? You think the you think the people are going to just go along with that? These people are stupid and they just say anything because they just trying to get your vote. They just they are so desperate to get your vote that they will tell you that Trump can be a king. <laughs> They literally telling people that he's going to be, he's going to declare himself a king. What? Hmm. How can he declare himself a king? We don't even have that type of system here. How? What is he going to do? This dumb guy that they claim is dumb. He's going to write a new system. That's going to just make him the king. Like, come on, bro. Hmm. So look, Supreme Court did what they had to do. And it is what it is. So shout out to the Supreme Court. That's what it is, man. And you can't say nothing about it. And every and everything, everything they're saying, well, you should always follow the justice. The the, the law is the law. 
I remember them saying that. And now all of a sudden they want to overthrow the government. Now, the same people that just told you when Trump got a, a, a um, when he got a, a 90, um, two, or was it a 34 counts of, of, of a felony all of a sudden now? Oh yeah. Well, you got to understand this is the law and the law is the law and you have to understand no one's above the law. Now that Trump wins something, now all of a sudden, we need to get them out of here. We need to overthrow them. Oh, I thought the law was the law. What happened to that? So I don't know, man. You go ahead, bro. Yeah, um, well, we already know, you know what I'm saying, Trump is a, is a lot sharper than, um, what people may think he is, think he is, you know what I mean? Um, he's going, he's going to get what he has to get done. I mean, enough said, they just said, you know, uh, he's uh, got immunity. So it's nothing y'all can really do. Nothing y'all can do. You know, you just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it. That's just the way it is, you know? I don't want to speak too much because, you know what I mean, um, I'm not so familiar, so I can't really go into so much detail like you can. But I will say this, that, you know, kudos to him. Kudos for him for uh, studying the, the system and knowing exactly what to do and how to do it. Enough said. Yeah, man. Well, look, we out of here, man. Sketchpad Podcast. See y'all. Peace. Bye.